Hey guys, Kev here, and I am ready for some lefty knife talk. Got my LaCroix here in the coconut flavor. Love it. And on today's episode of Lefty Knife Talk with Lefty EDC, I would like to talk about front flippers. So this is an interesting topic for us lefties. Um, front flippers are very hard to operate as a lefty. And as much as I am intrigued by all the designs and, and cool features that front flippers have, I struggle to, excuse me, I struggle to keep them in my collection. I have bought a few and I always tend to sell them. And it's because I can't sit there and fidget with them and I can't have fun with them, really. Um, you know, I can obviously figure out a way to operate them most times, but I don't ever end up falling in love and really enjoying the fidgetability of a knife. Like, for example, in my pocket today, I have the Concept Knives Pelican EDC. This is a K Maxron design really cool knife and this is a righty knife right-handed frame lock right-handed clip and it has studs but i can flip it open really easily i can disengage the lock and it drops home it's a lot of fun to play with for me if i get my finger in the right spot or my thumb in the right spot i can spidey flick it as well um it's just a fun knife right and then in my back pocket today, I have the Finch Knives Holiday. So I had two righty knives on me today. Another righty, this is a bolster lock, right hand clip only. This is a flipper. Easy to flip lefty, easy to close lefty. This knife actually has blown me away. Finch knives are really good for the price point. Now you're getting stainless steel instead of a titanium bolster lock, right? But you're getting snake wood, you're getting a flipper, you get 154 cm, but they go for 129. I think it's a titanium milled clip, so uh, I think the price is pretty good on these. Plus, it's made by Best Tech, uh, or no, this, sorry, I believe it was made by QSP, but it's made by a good OEM out of China. Uh, and put together very well, in my opinion. And, and I'll be doing more videos on these. But I just want to show, you know, a flipper and a uh, and a thumb stud knife as a lefty, even if they're right-hand biased, they still kind of function mostly. There's some, like the Chavez 229 here. This is my blackout edition that do not function as well as other knives for a lefty because this frame lock is very central and any pressure to it locks this thing up like a bank vault like right now i cannot flick this open because i put the tiniest bit of pressure on the lock and then it tears my thumb up and if i try to spidey flick it it is so awkward trying to get my finger in the right spot ugh, and then trying to get enough pressure behind it I mean, I'm struggling right now. There we go. Just got it. So, you know, and this is a, you know, $350 knife, basically. Um, gorgeous knife. Fantastic pocket clip. You can see my review. I love this knife. But function functionally, it's not very good for a lefty, right? Um, but, you know, it works. Now, I have two front flippers in right now, okay? So I have the... Riot Knives uh, Bushido. This was a loaner that was sent in to me by Justin. Great dude uh, over at Tier 1 EDC and Gear Reviews. Check out his Instagram. Check out his YouTube. He has some uh, very good uh, reviews where he kind of, he, he gives it to you short and sweet. and Not like me. So you're not going to have a 20 minute you know, review. You're going to have an eight minute review and you're going to have specs and you're going to get a little bit of opinion and it's more factual. And he, he just has a good way of delivering the review. Um, so check it out if you're interested. 
This is a cool knife. Um, this is actually a liner lock, which is why titanium liner lock. This is why I was interested in this knife. So originally, what the one I wanted to check out was the Riot Tribute that just came out recently. And it's basically the same knife, right? But it's um, like a drop point type blade instead of this quaking thing, right? I'm not a big fan of this quaking stuff. Um, it's just weird to me to have a blade that kind of goes backwards when you're kind of disengaging. It just seems, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, it's like an OCD thing for me, but um same pretty much handle i think it's the same exact handle it's just a different blade right but you have a liner lock where as a lefty that makes sense because now i don't have to worry about all these frame lock issues and i've gone into that you can watch my previous lefty knife talk videos but i figured maybe just maybe this is the one right because the only front flipper to me as a lefty that has worked for me consistently and been fun to play with and fidget with and something i would actually put my dollars down on was the ckf 520 the custom knife factory 520 and possibly the 23 uh kyle over at dtom knives and gear my great buddy my brother um he has one of those and i think he's going to send that to me to check out so i'll let you know about the 23 but that's kind of a big brother little brother thing right um so those are that's the only front flipper that i've ever had in um, or ever handled that worked for me as a lefty and was fun to play with and 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 you know have around and i wanted to carry it i got this in like a week ago i think from justin and i've carried it maybe one time and other than that it's just sitting in my knife case and i occasionally kind of take it out and see like does it still work can I operate it? Whatever. And then I put it back, right? Uh, the other one I have is from uh, JB, Jody from Big Red EDC. Another great dude in this community. There's so many amazing people in this community, but you don't need me to tell you that. This is the Artisan Cutlery Centauri. This is a Ray Laconico design, which is, you know, one of my favorite makers um very sweet sweet night this is in the green or natural the green micarta handle but it's a frame lock titanium frame lock and it has this front flipper right whereas the uh bushido here kind of has this front slash top flipper and that's going to come up a little later but this is a dedicated front flipper with a frame lock which those two things together to me as a lefty equal danger you know like i'm not gonna be able to operate this and when i had my channel chat with jody he tried this left handed and he said you know what this knife has a groove right here so it probably it might work and he kind of held it in the groove and he flipped it and it works you just saw me do it it works but it doesn't work to the point by the way the action on this is phenomenal it doesn't work to the point where it's fun and and there's kind of a balance there right guys like yeah i can flip this right but is it fun to flip is it comfortable to flip am i getting enjoyment out of it um can i do it blindfolded can i do it in the dark can i do it at my desk while i'm sitting there working and just kind of you know, flipping back and forth, fidgeting with my knife, right? And that's a big topic when it comes to front flippers as a lefty. The answer to that question is usually no. I'm not having fun with these knives. As much as I want to love them, and I love the designs, and, you know, I really love a nice, thin-handled, compact, gentlemanly-type knife. Um, I love this look closed i don't like the you know the the quaking thing but you know the tribute let's say that's more traditional looking i love that design i want one but it's not fun and 
that to me is the the key here. It's the rub when it comes to being a lefty with front flippers. Um, if I was right-handed, the fact of the matter is this clip right here is the number one reason why the front flipper works for a righty and doesn't for a lefty. When I'm right-handed, or if I'm using my right hand, I'm using the clip as a anchor point. So my finger goes on the clip, regardless of how I hold it, I am somehow putting fingers on the clip. And that's what gives me leverage when I go to flip the knife. And again, I'm left-handed, so I'm a little you know, right hand stupid. So I'm not gonna make this look easy right handed, but it it's a lot easier right handed. You know, you don't have such a hard time. You can sit here, flip, disengage, flip, disengage, right? You can go from the front and roll back. You can go on the top and flip it over like a Bic lighter, which is my favorite. Um, you can go index finger on it and flip it up. And you could do all that in your sleep if you're right-handed. You could just sit there and mess around with it, right? But as a lefty, I can't do that because I'm always worried about my grip because I don't have the clip as an anchor point. So I'm kind of like putting it in my hand to where I'm just getting my fingers inside the scale so I'm not blocking the blade, right? And then I'm like, all right, how do I get to this? Roll it around in my hand, flip it. Okay, I flipped it, right? Just got it. Now, watch me try to disengage this knife and keep my grip the entire time. I mean, do you see how awkward that is? I have to like, you know, move my thumb in an awkward way just to keep my grip. So basically what ends up happening is, yay, I opened it, right? Now I have to adjust. I have to disengage. I have to close. And now I have to figure out my grip again because it's not just, it's not second nature where I'm just like, oh yeah, let me put my finger down here and then I'm good. Um, so that that's kind of the thing with front flippers as a lefty. Now I have found with this knife, I can do the index finger thing pretty good. So this is like my favorite way to open this knife now. I just sit here and I do this. But of course, occasionally you slip off or you don't get the right pressure or whatever. It's just not, it's not comfortable. Um, so that that's kind of a rundown on that. And that's with the liner lock. Now, if you go to a knife with a frame lock, um, so... I tried all of the Pena X-Series front flippers. Not all of them, but I tried the uh, Apache. I tried the Barlow, the Trapper, I believe. And they all had the same issue. They had really cool bolster locks. Like, you know, the, the inlay was right here, right? So only this part up was frame lock. You didn't have all this to worry about with, with pressure issues but you still had that spot and that's right where your thumb is. And they're so thin. All of those Trapper knives or X-Series knives from Pena are at least as thin as this, if not thinner. And half of that is a bolster lock. So you're just kind of stuck with your thumb somewhere on the lock and causing an issue with the pressure. And then you go to flip it, right? And it just destroys your finger and you can't get it open. And the frame lock is the same way. Now this knife is a little wider and that's the main reason why the 520 works for me as a lefty. It's a liner lock and it's a little bit wider. It's probably about the width of this knife right here. So imagine this with a liner lock. So it, it, it lends itself to actually having enough girth that without the clip i have grip that isn't hanging in front of the blade right and i can comfortably flip it open and play with it and not have any issues this knife um this knife's really hard as a lefty now yeah i can use this groove uh, but you'll see like i really have to hammer it um and i have to focus i can't just sit there and like play with this for fun right 
Um, I found the best way for me to hold it is kind of to put my fingers in here right next to the blade like this. Kind of grip it down at the bottom like that and flip it. But I can't consistently keep doing that. And then it's awkward moving my hands around. And this is a free dropper. So, you know, on top of everything, it makes it dangerous to do all that. Um, yeah, it's just a thing, guys. You see right-handed, I have this clip. So I just wrap my finger around the clip, go for the front flipper, and flip it. Boom. Then I keep my finger on the clip, disengage, drop the blade, and I can go back to work. And I can sit here and do this all day right-handed. Left-handed, I might get it open. Then I have to, you know, move everything around. Then I have to get back and hope I'm in the same position that worked and try again. It's just, you know, it's just not fun. And, and that's the biggest thing with front flippers. As a lefty, it's not fun. So that's, you know, that's what I wanted to talk about today, guys. Um, you know, it's not going to be a really long lefty knife talk this time. I don't have a million knives to show you because I don't have any front flippers. I, you know, I've owned four, maybe, those Pena X series. And I had the Mula, which is also front flippable. It's not a front flipper, but you can front flip it. Um, and I sold them all. I just, it, it wasn't worth it. $300 for a knife that I can't enjoy, you know? And, um, it's sad because I really do like front flippers. I like the idea. I, I really want a knife that's left-handed that I can flick open like a big lighter, you know, and just sit there and play with like a lighter. And, you know, I've gotten used to these. You can see it's not like I'm epically failing at it, but I do that a lot. I, I miss a lot. Like, yeah. So I've, you know, I've rambled here enough, but I just, I think that we need to find a way to just offer a reversible clip on a front flipper. This is the design that needs a reversible clip more than anything because it's an anchor point. And, um, yeah, so until they start coming out with front flippers with reversible clips, such as the Civivi McKenna, I had one of those, and I really enjoyed that knife. I reversed the clip, and then I could play with it just like a righty would. Yeah, it still had the, the right-handed liner lock, but, you know, I'm, I'm used to that by now. Um, but I had a clip to anchor me, you know? So there you have it, guys. Front flippers for lefties. Please, in the comments, tell me, as a lefty, what do you think? Have you tried flunt, flunt flippers? Have you tried front flippers? And do you like them? Do you love them? Maybe you're left-handed and you figured it out. Or you don't mind the awkwardness. Um, or maybe I'm just an idiot because we all know that that is a fact. <laughs> I am an idiot, and maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. So tell me. Um, if you're right-handed and watching this, I hope you are, because, you know, I kind of want you righties to understand where we're coming from. I'm not just out there bitching about being left-handed for fun. Um, I have, you know, I have reasons behind my gripes. Um, and a lot of times I'm joking around, but um, what's your opinion? Have you ever tried using your front flipper, front flipper, I'm sorry, front flipper, uh, have you ever tried using it left-handed and um, just tried to feel what it's like to be us, you know? Um, it's just an interesting thing, front flippers to me. Uh, they're so popular, but in my mind, they're so less useful and fun than anything else. So that's it, guys. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you later. <laughs>